Hello everyone, I'm Mason Bean with the Wise News Network and today we've got something that Cherville has been looking forward to for a while for you to enjoy. The Cherry Pit held its ribbon cutting and grand opening on August 20th, 2024, so that's what we've got coming up next. But before that, let me say they gave out samples from the menu and I think it's definitely worth your time to stop in and check them out. Regular business hours will be from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sundays, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Mondays and Thursdays, with the business being closed on Tuesday and Wednesdays. The address is 201 North Mountain Street, and the building is located in between the Cherville YMCA and the Greer Beam Truck Museum for those hoping to grab a bite or wet their whistle. Now that you know the when and where for the Cherry Pit, let's go to the restaurant where you'll be hearing from Pete Kraft and other Cherville City officials on the restaurant want to welcome you here today to the Cherry Pit. Uh, we couldn't have asked for a better day to have this. Uh, of course, we're all inside instead of enjoying the outside, but very nice in here. Uh, we have a huge crowd here today, probably one of the largest ribbon cuttings that we've had since I've been chairman of the board of directors for the chamber, and that's been over 10 years now. So we welcome you. This is a much anticipated day as we have rode by here for months and seen this building taken down to a skeleton nearly. And then we see what it is today. We have seen and nearly smelled food on Facebook <laughs> and other social media for several days. And we have, uh, I think have, they have had some trial runs over the last week or so. So we're certainly proud of this place to be here and certainly look forward to see what lies ahead for it. Uh, at this time, we are also happy to have our mayor back with us who was unable to be with us at our last ribbon cutting uh, due to some health issues, but God has blessed him and he is here with us today. And give him a nice hand. Thank you, Petey. Uh, on behalf of the entire city, the city council, and all the citizens, we want to welcome the Cherry Pit as our newest uh, business in uh, historic Cherryville where life truly blossoms. Uh, it's so good to be here. I remember uh, several months back, I was uh, dining with uh, Patrick O'Leary and uh, we were breaking bread together and he said let me show you some pictures mayor of what I want to vision for the cherry pit so he showed me some pictures of some bars and he said I'm looking at these different things that I want to put in the cherry pit and then his vision turned to reality he went and looked at some of them and he saw some imperfections in the bars that he was looking at so you know what he did? He just decided he would build his own. And this is what you see today, and look how beautiful it is. You couldn't ask for any better than that. And this is a man that when he sees something, it stays right there, and he can look at it and see how it's going to be in the future. And Patrick, you've done a great job on that. And next, I would like to talk to about this lady here. She has eat, slept, breathed, this vision for many, many months, Vicki Sperlin. And uh, she has been right behind it. She's went through every phase that they have went through. And I know it's been a hard and long journey, but look, it's worth it. And you see this crowd here, it's beyond the biggest crowd we've ever had for a ribbon cutting. And that speaks volumes for what you've done here. And then finally, we got the two guys here that decided they wanted to take the reins here uh, Mason and Brady, and uh, they're going to run this thing, take it by its horns and go with it. And I couldn't ask for two better guys. They're always smiling, happy, except when Brady's in the kitchen, he sometimes, <laughs> he, he turns that hat around and he might have a smirk or two. But that just shows you how dedicated he is to this. And I know they're going to be with it. We want to wish you the best of luck in our city. If you ever have any trouble or need help, just go out here, turn right, and keep walking till you see the three cherries on the building. That's City Hall. If, if you can't get us, just pick the phone up and dial 704-435-1700. Somebody will answer. But 
we know you're going to be successful. It's no no use to wish you success. You're going to have it. It's going to be here. And I want everybody to see this outside, how awesome they have done this outside dining. It is unbelievable. Uh, they got a 98-inch TV out there. And uh, they've used every inch of that space for tables and to seat the people that are here. But again, on behalf of the city, city council, congratulations, good luck. Anything we can do, let us know. Thank you. Now we have our Main Street Director, David Day, who will speak. Thank you, Pete. Uh, when I took over and became the first Main Street Director here in Cherryville, uh, I walked around the town and did a lot of pictures. There was a lot of empty buildings, a lot of empty spaces. Been going to Main Street conferences for uh, four and a half years, and one of the things they always say, your revitalization of your Main Street comes when you get your first bar and pub. And we got it. And uh, so last, uh, the first week in August, I was in Belmont at the director's meeting and I had stolen a bunch of pictures and was bragging and showing everybody. And I was like, Belmont, <laughs> you know, here's what we're getting. Uh, I'm so proud of this. This building and this row and this street down here is part of our Main Street program. It's part of our central business district. I'm going to be nominating this building uh, next year because it has to have been finished by July 1st. But this building will be nominated for a National Main Street Revitalization Award because it's been done from the dirt to the ceiling. And uh, also I'll be nominating the Belt Building Uptown for this year's revitalization. It has also went through that. That is how strict their requirements are. And uh, between Mr. O'Leary and Vicki and other merchants uptown who have redone their buildings, we have seen a complete uptake and revitalization in our historic Main Street district. So I want to thank all of you for coming today. Continue to support our Main Street merchants uptown. They will be doing some individual stuff on third Thursdays. Come shop our merchants. Gentlemen, you don't have to buy a dress at a boutique. You can buy a gift card for a dress at a boutique. So take a moment, stop by, support our Main Street merchants. I'm going to bring, if we can get in here tonight, my 41st wedding anniversary is tonight. I'm going to try to bring my wife to dinner after I get back from rehearsal. But anyway, thanks everybody for coming. Brady and Mason, God love you. You were so little when I met you playing handbells. Playing, uh, Mason, uh, Brady, you did that. Mason, you ran. Uh, uh, but they played handbells, they took piano, they sang in the children's choir, and they tried to fool me on who was who a couple times in the sanctuary. Uh, but I didn't fall for it but once. And uh, Christy kept me straight on which was which. But guys, thank you all for coming. Blessings on your building. And if you know, there's I've already talked to you about a new business grant that we're going to work with you on. So I wish you the most success. And I couldn't be more proud of you and your entire family, your mom, Christy, and your dad, Chuck. I know they're proud of you and your sister. And God bless you both. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now that we've heard from the city on this new location, let's go the team that got this new restaurant up and running. First, we're here from Patrick O'Leary and Vicki Sperling before we hear from one of the owners, Mason Ford. The restaurant is being operated by he and his twin brother, Brady. Both brothers have experience in the industry. Let's go back to the cherry pit now. Folks, at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Patrick O'Leary, who has certainly been a friend to Cherryville and been kind here and helped in many things and many projects to, uh, as the mayor said, make Cherryville blossom. And he has been a friend and a gentleman to us, and we thank you kindly, sir, for your dedication to Cherryville. Thank you. Welcome, thank you for coming. We're so glad to share this finished project with you. I've got about 40 things to say. I'm going to say four of them. You can hear the rest by buying me a drink at the bar. I'll be down this time. <laughs> Our whole team has put their hearts and souls into this building. And they are proud of it, and I am very proud of all of that. So the history of the building. Uh, 
Uh, the building was built in the late 1920s, uh, ironically, given that it's a bar right in the middle of Prohibition between 1920 and 1933. It's 1,875 square feet, and uh, the patio is as big as the indoors. This building is on the National Register of Historic Places, uh, and is in the Cherryville uh, Downtown Historic District. Edward Moss from Waco ran Moss Radio Service, which he ultimately named Moss Radio and TV Service. He ran it for 50 years. Uh, I read that in 1946, there were only 6,000 TV sets in the whole of America. And by 1956, 10 years later, there were over 60 million. And that was the driver for his business. A few of us can actually remember Getting around the radio at home, I don't think any of you folks are doing that, <laughs> doing that today. Roxanna Engel, who was also a big HL, uh, ran Looming Things, a uh, flower shop here throughout the 1990s. She was also a driving force in the Cherryville Downtown Association. The building had been abandoned for 15 years when we acquired it and was a total mess, basically occupied by pigeons. Nothing in the inside infrastructure was salvageable for safe and healthy and health reasons. And so we had to start, uh, we had to start from uh, scratch, rebuild the entire interior, and then customize it for uh, restaurant bar use. Um, let's just say a few things about the, the overall design. The ceiling is a reproduction of what was here. The floor is a reproduction of what was here. The sliding door that was here is now Frank on, the, uh, Frank on the outside patio. The actual image from the street uh, was Christy Ford's idea. It's ironically an Irish bar in Canada, <laughs> and, uh, and we reproduced it, and that uh, informed the black and gold color scheme that you uh, see. There are three hand-painted pieces of art by Mary Freeman here. The selfie station at the bar, uh, the sign on the south wall, and then the sign on the historic sliding door that's now uh, mounted uh, outside. Uh, Brunswick's placid 19th century American bars have stood the test of time for one reason. They're perfect. Yeah. This is from their history. <laughs> A neoclassical architectural collage of columns, arches, and glass crowding the ceiling. Actually intended to be a little reminiscent of 19th century churches and banks. They serve multiple purposes. Part theatrical, a stage for the maestros and liquor to perform for you. That would be summer. I don't know, there's <laughs> uh, A part comfortable space for you, the drinkers, to ponder one fundamental truth. Drinking is important business. <laughs> You were never wasting your time in a Brunswick bar. The beverages and bartenders were first class, and naturally, the longer you remained, the more important you would feel. <laughs> um, so after some failed attempts to acquire and relocate a historical bar, uh, Chris Merling said we need to talk to Alan Ridley. And believe it or not, right here in Cherryville, Alan Ridley's team designed and created this from sketches, marketing sketches from Brunswick, and this was called the Del Monte. Of course, the names of the bars were all kind of uh, glamorous as well. And so, this has been, this is the most expensive investment in the entire uh, entire project. And it's made of severely mahogany. I'm so happy to attend the opening of the Cherry Pit to see a new business start here in Cherry Mill by two young Cherry Mill native twins that you see here. It is our hope that more and more people that are born and graduate high school here will ultimately be able to find employment in their own uh, Thank you for all coming to show your support for us. We truly appreciate it, and I hope you will support these young men in their business. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sterling. What do you have to say for yourself? First of all, thank Mason Brady. If it hadn't been for these two, you know, we would be finding someone from out of town to run the place and didn't even know, and we wouldn't have been near as involved. So they have made this, this these two, willing to run it, willing to work night and day, and willing to put everything they've got into it, that we have to thank for this coming to be kind of the truth. 
of the family has looked at me a few times along the way to the bank and I met, and we suggested maybe we were going to do the bar here. And we called them and asked Mason, would you like to have a bar here? Well, some of the family has looked at me during this time and said, what are you thinking? I mean, this is crazy. It's hard, you know? And this has been hard. This has been one of the hardest things we've ever done because not only have we fixed the building, but we started the business from scratch. And that's very difficult. So these guys are coming in there and they're ready to go to work. So all of them are coming in their food. And we do want to thank Patrick. Without him, they couldn't have this building. They couldn't have this nice bar. It's really been good. And I also want to thank Chris, who's not here today because he's home sick. But if he didn't go along with all our crazy ideas and financially support me when I had these ideas, then I couldn't do it. So thankful for him. And uh, I really want to thank Vic Cool. This whole deal is Vic. I'm like, I'll get the idea started when Vic has to finish. Like, he'll say, what do you think? And he said, okay, I'll figure it out. You know? And thank you, Vic. He has, everybody knows Vic is the best. I mean, he made the picture frames. I mean, we didn't. You know, he thought it was done. And we're like, nothing was it. Nothing was it. Nothing was it. So we pulled him back day after day to just keep helping us. So I told him we've got to turn him loose. He's got to go on to something else, but he's wonderful. And uh, I'm going to turn this over to Mason. You can speak. Brady right? don't want to speak. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to say, like, even from the beginning, like, as soon as we mentioned this, the support was the same. Everyone's like, we needed this bar, and I agree. And uh, I'm just super happy to provide it for you guys. It stinks to a lot of people involved. But a couple of other people we didn't mention. My father, he was, he, anytime I was trying to be lazy, he was on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then another huge one, and this is Megan Gino. They, the whole reason I like the restaurant is because I started working for them 10 years ago or something. And we've been in the weeds together. We've had great times together. We've been pretty mad at each other, but it all works out. It's all great. And they've taught me so much. It's really insane. And uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just crazy. Summer's been helping me behind the bar. Kit has been helping me behind the bar. Murph, our cook, we got him from Chapel Hill, and he's just been killing the game. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even really know what else to say other than the support is insane, and I appreciate it a lot. And I can't wait to serve you guys some drinks and serve some good food and just provide some excellent vibes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's all for today, everyone. But if you want to see more stories like this, be sure to check out our website, wisenewsnetwork.com. And while you're there, you can submit what you want to see us cover next, or you can email newsdesk at wisenewsnetwork.com to tell us your ideas as well. Until next time, everyone, this has been Mason Beam with the Wise News Network.